Hello everyone, my name is Master Rolfus and welcome to Ancestry. This is a turn-based strategy game created by the folks over at Kijak Games and this uh, game is very unique in that it has a lot of similarities to that of games such as XCOM and Madam Saga with a little bit of Hearthstone in between uh, thrown in for good measure. So basically the way the game works is that you have a shaman and this guy is not able to attack anyone but he can summon units to the battlefield using mana. And the mana um, that you gain increases as the turns go on, much like in Hearthstone. And you can also utilize spells and buffs and all that type of good stuff, actually. As well as building your own deck. A lot of your minions and your spells can be customized in your um, uh, decks right over here. If I had to have, like, you know, one massive complaint with the game is the fact that the amount of units that you get or the amount of cards that you get are very little actually and i hope that they do address this as time goes on but uh you know so far gotta say it's it is very little but you know i do like the aesthetic of the game the game is a very pretty game as you can probably tell by this like little intro sequence over here and the units have their own distinct flavors and stuff like that but i would like to, to see a little bit more Anyway, so there's multiplayer and single player, but due to the fact that the game is very um, obscure right now, um, I'm not going to really touch the multiplayer. So we will play the single player right now. We'll use the starter deck, and we'll pick uh, Desert Temple. And we'll show off the game for all of its uh, positives as well as negatives. Um, the game is currently 1349. So, if anybody was... Um, curious about the price that would be the price of the game so currently like in Hearthstone I can choose between three uh, cards at the start just to see um, you know what would be a good starting hand and stuff like that I'm going to probably take out this uh, that's a little bit too overkill especially when some of your actually starting hand I, I do like this actually but I want something a little bit um, lower on the scale so I'll keep the three I'll take out the ancient wisdom and I'll I'll keep the ancient herbs I mean the healing herbs so I not? Ooh, nice. And I get a storm. Okay, good. So this is your shaman. He can attack. He can summon. He can utilize spells. Uh, but that's basically about it. And I gotta try and control these totem poles. And get more score than my opponent. Right now, he summoned a Mati, which is a basic infantry unit. Has two health, three attack. So he's quite powerful, actually. But also a glass cannon. And much like at Hearthstone, I am actually gaining more mana as the turns end. Alright, I can also see the uh, amount of cards my opponent has as well. So what I could do is I could summon. I can move and then summon. Or I can attack and then move, which is really good. So this is my... What is this? My Mintu. It has two range, so I can attack units in a two tile radius it has six health and uh two attack points i think or two attack moves no, no 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 it just does two damage actually my bad my bad completely read that wrong i would have been a little bit awkward going like oh wait where's my uh second attack move what the hell they tricked me all right so i do want to try and get over there Pick that little totem up. So what I could do is go right here and attack. Bam. And let's try to go for a Seppo, which has less range, does the same amount of attack as a Mati, but has way more health. Yeah, let's cast this, actually. Nice! We killed the Mati, actually. So now we just potentially saved this totem over here. And we kept the um, Shaman right over here. Now, if you kill a Shaman, or if your Shaman dies, it's A-OK, -okay because he'll spawn next turn, so that's good. And also bad, I suppose. Alright, so I'm just gonna stab this guy in the nips. Let's find our enemies already! The spirits Where does the tribe need me? And Seppo can do this. Betrayed. We Again? Guide me. Mm, we could summon... A Joanna. The other tribe. The ancestor. 
Now, let's try to move in between these two. I don't really care too much about my shaman. My shaman has a lot of health. And again, he will come back. Yeah, take take me instead. Hmm. Do you like this berserk? Especially since it can allow me to just basically insta gob this guy. Betrayed again? Now hold on. Yeah, there we go. We got three range over him, so we can just kill him. And let us summon this guy. So right now we have an army advantage over my AI opponent. And we also will have a totem pole advantage, actually, if we're... If we do uh, well enough, actually. Correct. Anyway, let's move this guy right over here. I'm not really sure what the motif is. It kind of looks... Um, you see, I, I think it looks um North American, like Olmec uh, civil uh, like the Olmec civilization, this um this map over here. The units themselves I'm not really sure. I think they're just from a hodgepodge of different uh Native American, South American, North American uh, civilizations, like the Aztecs and all that good stuff, but um I don't know if I can certainly peg a specific civilization. Like, you know, there's no this isn't exactly Prince of Persia where you know right from the get go, oh, where the fuck does this take place? Uh in Persia. From the shadows. Okay, I'm gonna heal up this guy. He needs some loving. I'm not gonna use charge. Ooh, fireball. Back to the shadows. Yikes. A true hunter needs patience. Where is my spear? Yeah, we need to move you. Okay, kill you off. Hmm. It can't be done. Ah, okay. All right, I need to use it for this guy. They are no match for me. Nice. We're just gonna focus the shaman down. We might as well kill him. We've kept him right here. That's good. Now we can just kind of like. Move back and have cord chul over the map. Uh, I would use storm, but I don't really want to kill off any of my units yet. Granted, ice shard is not good. This guy's getting pretty savage in terms of his tools. Just, just grab that. Let's finish this game off. Where does the tribe need me? Yes, I have heard of to poison darts actually. My little door, the explorer. Let's go ahead and shank this girl. Um, Simo would work. What I'm going to try and do is get maybe some elders. That would be really good. Slash at you a little bit. We still have the advantage in terms of numerical superiority, but um, it doesn't matter when my units are kind of a little bit eh. And, the, and it is opening um, myself up to attacks by storm. I have much to learn. Stay calm. Yeah, let's go ahead and beat the living crap out of the shaman. So I'm not sure if this game is really um, worth the 13 bucks. On one hand, this is an incredibly fun and beautiful game. But on the other hand, the variety here is just a little bit lacking. I mean, I do like the... Hearthstone aspect of it, and I do actually enjoy the um, the XCOM Banner Saga aspect of it tremendously, but um, just it's just very little content, which is a problem. Also, good luck getting any multiplayer matches of this game up. Um, AI is being a little bit dumb though. So this is gonna be. Probably stomp, and I'm not really sure how to actually increase the AI difficulty. Stay 
Alright, we're, we're gonna basically win this. You're gonna kill off my shaman, but I'm gonna draw three cards. Fireball, Seppo, and Pacifying Spirit. Alright. Let's first ca uh, cast Fireball right now. Get wrecked. Let's uh, pacify the spirit. Yeah, there we go. I did that so that they can attack back, essentially. I want to keep my Mati alive. Yeah, let's stab you. So far... Better strike while the you know, maybe maybe the best thing I could say for this uh, that this game has going for it is the aesthetics because I think this is just a beautiful looking game. Reminds me a lot of that Atlantis uh, movie that came out. Atlantis: The Lost Empire, like all these people with blue eyes and um blue um blue highlights all over their skin and stuff. That was something that happened in Atl in Atlantis: The uh, Lost Empire and stuff. So I'm kind of like imagining myself as Milo Datch, uh, so to speak, just like talking to the ancient Atlanteans. <laughs> Atlantis Lost Empire, for those of you who don't know, is an animated movie created by Disney, which I feel is a little bit underrated, actually. It was pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. It had its problems in terms of uh, being kind of boring at the end. But you know what? That's okay. It looks, it looked cool as fuck. Don't watch the sequel. It's crappy. It's like basically a different circle of hell. I just got shanked by that guy. Um, essentially, when you attack a, an enemy unit, you have to get rid of its health. But if it still has health left over, or you know, if it's at the end of its ropes, it can still attack back and do quite a bit of damage because you know it has three attack and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze you. And now you're frozen like Mr. Freeze's wife over here. Oh no. Our unit was killed, but that's okay. We basically shrekt. And that's kind of it. You know, I didn't show off um, some of the higher tier units. But the way they work is that they are essentially just more powerful versions of existing units. They are elders, and they have their own special abilities per se. So you're not really missing much. Spells wise, did you miss anything? Yeah. Decks are randomized. You could build your own deck if you so desire. I picked the starter deck. And I think that was a and the starter decks I think are randomized as well. But yeah, um that is um Ancestry. Uh I do think the game is um good actually I, I i do think it's fun but i think in terms of it being 13 dollars uh, it might be a little bit too much with the content it's uh giving out maybe if they add in some more cards some more maps more different variety of different units because as it stands there's really only like t1 and then t2 is the same thing as t1 uh t1 being you know tech one and t2 being tech two so t tech one and tech two are basically the same with the exception that a little bit more health and some extra ability instead of like, you know, a completely new unit and stuff. Like in Hearthstone, you don't have a, um, a Leroy Jenkins and then an elder, uh, lead Leroy Jenkins. Then again, I don't really play a lot of Hearthstone because I don't want to waste a lot of money. Anyway, that is Ancestry. Um, if you enjoy this type of game. Um, like, you know, XCOM and, uh, Banner Saga and all that stuff. I suggest pick, picking it up, but it does depend on your, uh, price point. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.